Welcome back. Uh, let's do some puzzles. It's been a long while, hasn't it? It's this website, Googles.io, has released a new puzzle set. And um, they invited people to attempt the puzzles. Uh, there are puzzles in multiple languages, and it's true that in a previous live stream I attempted uh, German puzzles for some reason. These hopefully should be simpler. Even though this looks like French and this looks like other languages and stuff, uh, we're assured that this is in fact English. And yeah, they need people of all skills to try out their puzzles and see uh, how difficult they are. So, um, I don't think this is a word, but it scores a lot. And I don't see an alternative, so let's give it a shot. Oh, both of those are not words. Incredible. Um, I could have sworn, but okay. We failed it twice. And so after failing it, you can ask, like, where do you want to try to put the word? And then... Um, if that's still not enough of a clue, and for me, it doesn't seem to be enough of a clue. Oh. Oh, this score is almost the same as the other word, but this is much better. Because you don't want to burn up the S. Alright. But yeah. Uh, we got a nice large board, and the word could go anywhere on the board. And the more puzzles you fail, the hopefully the easier the remaining puzzles get. Um, skillful players tend to shuffle their tiles instead of doing what I'm doing here. Uh, this is a word, right? Okay, that is a word, but it's not the solution. Hmm. I don't think that's a word, but I'm impatient and I want to try something. Where does our solution go? Actually not where I was looking. Does it go like across the top here? Okay. My chat window was occluding that. Occasionally I'm going to fail problems just because I don't have a separate place to put my chat window. So I guess I apologize for that, but uh, I don't have anywhere else to put it. And if anyone does say anything, I want to be in a position where I can respond. So them's the breaks. Um, I'm guessing column A. There's got to be something... Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, even a blind squirrel can spot an acorn sometimes. C-A-L-M-O-O -O with another L. Uh, calm doesn't fit right down there. It'd be nice if it did. But yeah, here's another lane that doesn't seem to have a high-scoring word. Looking elsewhere, I don't know. Um, I mean, this... Oh, O-P-E-M doesn't look like a word. Um, I mean, it's got to be calm, but, like, where would you put calm? This board's enormous. I have no idea. I have not a freaking clue. Um, I mean, this was not a terrible idea, like, meal. Um, hmm. Oh, Cell scores 18 points and leaves behind some pretty... Oh, Cello is even better. 20 points. I like it. I like cello there. I'd be hard pressed to find something better than cello. Alright, so I have no idea where this goes. 
down here. So my first thought was calm like that, which just is slightly illegal. Four tiles. Um, loom. All right. Oh, oh, it's not in the Eng U.S. English. So, comma. That's not a word, or that doesn't form cross words. Uh, no. Clam. Okay, that's a common word. Okay. Move the chat window back. Um, hmm. What could this be? Like, surely it goes down here. Because all the other high scoring lanes seem occupied. Um, but no, this doesn't seem to meet the... yeah, I can't think of anything that would fit here. So, where else could it go? Um, I mean, something down this way might make sense. It doesn't score much. Um... That would score the B twice, just not enough. Is this a word? Bivy? If it is a word, that's not how you spell it. B E, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't even go where I thought. Uh, turns out there's another way to spell B. Yeah, that makes sense. Whether or not that's a good play, it scores well. Um, that looks decent enough. ING's a nice, nice suffix. But I don't see a place to put a word ending in ING. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Guilt is a word. I don't know where it would fit. Might fit here. And score some points. I have no idea where the play goes, so just give me the hint already. Oh, that's pretty clever. Those are the most fun. Um... I mean, cock here seems pretty automatic, but it doesn't score well. Hmm. That seems to score a lot better. Chalky scores really well. Uh, what could possibly score better than that? Chunky keeps the blank and scores better.
if I'm exasperated about that, it's because beginner puzzles with a blank. I don't know. The site just doesn't have beginner puzzles. I guess beginner puzzles never ever happen in real play. Or maybe it just means my rating is too high to ever get one of them. I don't know. I guess the conclusion is that all positions are difficult. And unless you really like know all the words and all the hooks and a lot of other things, puzzles are just not for you, I guess. I have no idea where to place something, so just tell me. Okay, I still have no idea. I have like how many tiles? Okay, four tiles from the rack. Okay, and then I'm gonna move the chat window again. So, feels like something ending in T might be it. There's not a lot of places to fit a word. Could also just be right here. Woo, we got a rating of 1070. But yeah, puzzles just are not a casual experience at all. Um, 35 for this. I don't like it. But it's very hard to see. Oh, hang on. Is there something here? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that goes across. It'd be nice if there were. Um, but no, it's just got to be this. That's got to be that. I don't believe you. All right. Here. Interesting. This is a beginner puzzle. Like, I just don't. Yeah, in terms of hasty bots evaluation, this is significantly better than the other one. I, I just, the only way I can think to justify that is that the open queue could be extended and they could build a double word score thing up there, which is not how HastyBot considers positions. I mean, yeah, the blank has some value, but I don't know how much value the blank has. But apparently beginners are supposed to know this because like everyone else gets it. I just don't. So the common factor here is me. This is a beginner puzzle again, because that means that everybody else gets it and I got it. This is just, yeah, I guess until you're like super good at the game, the game just is going to be pain and suffering. I just don't get it. So this, again, appears must be rated under 1100 because I'm getting it. Um, but my only thought here is to spell zoo or zoom. Oh, it takes an S. Hang on. All right, this did accept this vertically. I was testing um, 
whether or not that would get rejected for not being vertical or for being vertical. Um, QIN fits here. Does it also fit here? I think so. If you typed incorrectly. Oh, QIN's not a word. Okay. Uh, my chat window's up here. Wait, that's not a word either? Okay. Oh. I could have sworn QIN's a word, no? Hmm. Again, just... Yeah, puzzles are hard. Don't expect them to be easy. So it'd be fun to do TIX, but um, something like this would score even better. Okay, we'll move the chat window back down. This is an area that stands out. Um, is there anything better? Hmm. A C H O O. It's not here. Haiku, I don't see. Couch, I don't see. Pouch, P O U C H. Looks not terrible. Um. Does hiccup take one C? I don't think so. So this looks decent. I don't like the three vowel leave, but it's much harder to see something better. Um, this score is about the same with the shit leave. Is this playable? I don't know. There's gotta be something better than all of these. I have no idea. This is difficult. Okay, apparently everyone gets that, but just maybe not easily. Where's the easy puzzles? Out kind. All right. Um Hmm. Okay, where does anything go on this board? Why is this a beginner puzzle? Hmm. Is there something down here? Don't think so. Um. Every lane that I would think to work with seems blocked up pretty heavily. I don't know. Is point a word? Pink out? I don't know. Point is not a word, apparently. Oops. Do I not have a P? I do not have a P. Okay. Something over here somewhere. No freaking clue. Three tiles from the rack. Three tiles from the rack. I've no freaking clue. Thirty-three points. Okay, this is thirty, 
and it's not at all valid. Uh, KID ID Kitty uh, It's got to involve the K Um, kiddo. All right, that is a common word. Not the easiest word to generate, but everybody else gets it. I'm the common factor. I guess anybody dumber than me doesn't even bother attempting this stuff. So I'm going to get the hardest experience. <laughs> of everybody who continues. And everybody worse than me just quits. I guess that's how it goes. Uh, I, ing is a suffix. B e e d. Uh, ED is also a suffix. Dinge bed. I don't know. Bedding? Bedding with an E? I, I don't know. What is bedding with an E? It's nothing. Beeping? 48 points. Alright, that, that fits. Again, that's a beginner puzzle. Or this game where we're trying to initiate new players and asking how can we make the game appealing and accessible to folks. That's the sort of thing that beginners will see in their puzzles. It's tough. It's super hard to make something that works well for everyone. What can I say? It's just... Yeah. I mean, to learn the game and improve at it, you've got to have hard puzzles. And it, I can't think of anything better, but what can I... Hmm. Like, if I didn't see it the first time, how am I going to see it the second time? I have no idea. Here? But I was thinking it had to have the Q in it. Okay. Four tiles. I have no idea. Fifty one. Fifty one points. How? That's how. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where could this possibly fit? That's score 16. I don't like the double U. Having a two U's in the leave looks super suspicious. But it does score 16 points. Um, I also like just, well, top here leaves a two the extension. That looks even more suspicious. Then um, there's two over here for 12, which I actually kind of like. Um, oh, is this buoy? Yeah, that balances the hand a little. I make the same complaint about Lee Chess, that there's no partial credit. Even if you played a move that's halfway decent. And worked really hard at it. Uh, if you miss the best move, it just completely docks you for no matter how bad your move was. And it seems. Anyway. What can I possibly say? It's perfect. Everyone loves it. Everyone does these things, clearly. I, like, what can I say? It's exciting. It's just... Yeah. Well, I guess there is a spectrum of um, the hype cycle or hype curve, the interest hype cycle or curve thing, where something initially developed, um, people are way excited about it before its time, and then it fails to live up the hype, so the hype crashes. And then it takes a long, long time to get hyped up again, and like things come and go in terms of how excited people are about technology versus the progression of that technology. And based on that, um, hmm. Quite often, it could be more important to just stir up hype for something than to actually move the technology forward. But also, um, for people to actually be excited about something, it does have to be quite good. And what's maddening is when something is good, but not as good as it could be. Because then you're invested in it. You want to provide feedback if things are, I don't know. You want to provide feedback and see it improve because you're invested in it. Um, whereas if something just flat out sucked, you would just step away and not even worry about it. So that's perhaps why I complain so loudly because I'm just completely lost on most of these puzzles. I could spend all day and have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. And if I could do that, then like anyone less patient than myself would just step away and say, you know, what? I've done enough puzzles for today. And maybe I don't feel like doing puzzles tomorrow. And then time and time again, we hear like, oh yeah, we want to have a site that appeals to everyone, all skill levels. And I'm like, what does that mean? Not to overweight my own opinion, but what? Where does this even go? It's difficult enough generating the plays when you know which tiles to play. 
or even what quadrants of the board you're aiming for. Um, but, like, I just... This is too much. When I teach chess to beginners, I don't do it this way. Nobody does it this way. When we teach shogi to beginners, nobody does it this way. When we teach go to beginners, nobody teaches it this way. But this is the best tool freely available at this time. And it's miles ahead of where things used to be. Which is why it's maddening that it can't go steps further. I have no idea. Like, this puzzle's rated 1100. I could spend all day staring at it and still have absolutely no idea. Look for common prefixes and suffixes. Go on. Look for them. But also, just even if you did find them, they might not be part of the solution. Also, these puzzles are automatically generated, so it's possible that even if people do succeed in solving these and lowering the rating of the puzzle, even in that case, that doesn't mean that the solution is correct, according to how humans would play this. Not from a static evaluation, but from a sim. Or just a person's opinion based on, well, look, this is the position, and based on this we can infer what the previous racks were, or if we knew what the previous racks were, we could infer uh, the opponent's tiles and see like areas we want to cut off or open. It's... it's tough. This can't be it. Because bad and mad both score the same amount. Um, could be bam. Except I am is not a word. Um... It'd be nice to have something over here. I don't see anything like that. But yeah, I just... I'm, I just don't know. It's difficult to understand things. Is this valid? I hope so. E-R-M is not a word. Okay. Could it be bad, then? It's not bad. I'm still here. Okay. Three tiles. Forty-two. 45, 42, 42, hmm. It might not even be that spot, but if it is the spot, like... 
We can't use any of the three point tiles to get a score of 42. That's not it. Oh. 42 points. Um, and this is the only obvious spot, unless like this row, row two. Um, but I don't think it fits there. G O U P row one is a valid word, but that can't be it. There we go. No, it's got to be hub. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Six tiles from the rack. I also don't believe you. F-H-V-G-O-T. All right. 47 points, six tiles. I've, how can I possibly make a six letter word out of these? That seems impossible. Like if I start with O-U-T, this is what I was thinking. It's not possible to continue. So that's not how this works. So it's got to be something else. Like tough is five letters, not six. <sighs> like... H and V just never go together. I... six letters, really? Six tiles from the rack in column A. What in the hell could it be? Oh. All right. That's a word. It's even a common word. Not an easy one to generate. I'll just study my sixes. Everybody else gets it except me. So, like, I'm the common factor there. Isn't B-I-R-M also a word? Or is that just an international thing? Um, yeah, I'm the common factor. I'm the idiot. So, who am I to criticize things? Where would I stick... how... what could this be? I just... I have no idea. Oh, Vivo? Maybe? No? Is that an international thing? Wah! Not at all a word. This row. Okay. I have no idea. Five tiles, right? 
Yep. Okay. Um. Well, this is eased a little bit. There are no vowels in this rack. This severely limits possibilities. It's like, that's a word. That's 21 points. Incredibly, that's not it. I just didn't have the patience to look anymore. But since we failed it, I could give it a second look. But... Just how? How could there be something else that doesn't make sense? We're going to try it again. I don't care. And then let me ask for a hint. Okay. Three tiles. But vrunk. The V in the front. That's a word, right? 30. Okay. Oh. Alright, that is a common word. Puzzles are extremely challenging. Maybe just not enough have been rated yet. And this is why they're suggesting we need everyone to help with rating them. I don't know. Maybe that's what's going on. And this isn't so much just me being a complete idiot. As some puzzles are easier, some are harder than ratings would suggest. <sighs> that could be happening too. I thought people were using this mode. But maybe players have forgotten about it. It's hard to know. Um, that doesn't really tell me how many people have attempted this. Other than myself, which tells me how many I've attempted it, but, um... The Z's gotta be part of the answer here. You don't just make a puzzle with a Z and then not use it. Unless... Like, something really good cropped up. Usually you try to use the Z. I don't see how to use it, though. Q-I-P is not a word. It would have to have a U. <sighs> so... No. Mm -mm. I haven't the faintest clue where to put this. Z-I-N-E is a word. That might be the word, but the wrong spot. Does it fit here? Putting it there, even though I think that's not it, just in protest of this is difficult. How many tiles? Five tiles. Okay. That was me trying too hard. We got a Q. We got to use the Q. Probably goes right there, except that under my chat window, there was something there. 
Okay. Again, limited options. Um, hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. It's got to go vertically or something. D O H looks entirely reasonable to me if it's a word. Um, B O K, I think, is a word. I mean, that looks fine to me. Twelve points. I'm not uh, if there were something else. Would have to go through the U, I guess. I have no idea. We're trying it. Be okay. Apparently not. D O H not scoring high enough. I thought B O K was part of a food. Okay, but I didn't think there was a way to hit this. How many tiles? Four tiles. Oh. That's tricky. That's a 1,100-something graded puzzle. Uh... So... So now what? I don't know. I guess maybe this is the last puzzle? Well, that was too easy, though. Oh, this is the fallacy of one more puzzle, one more puzzle, but then getting mad when the next puzzle is, like, stupidly difficult. Either you spot the solution immediately, or it's just, you're never going to find it. There's, like, nothing in between. It's just a bit maddening. But again, the common factor is me, because everyone else gets these. It's just me. It's got to be here. Winks, I guess. J something. Yeah, so like here now puzzles are eleven forty. There might be a really, really, really sharp cutoff between puzzles that are too easy and too hard. Or just these puzzles haven't been rated enough to know which are easy and which aren't. I guess it's hardest on the extremes to tell which puzzles are easy and which ones are hard. In the middle, one can tell a lot about the difficulty of a puzzle, but yeah, for complete beginners and for top-level solvers, getting accurate ratings of puzzles sounds very, very difficult. Maybe that's what I'm complaining about. Which, again, is really, really hard to improve on, because unless you have a million beginners, you're just not going to get enough data to tell you which puzzles are the absolute easiest and which puzzles are the absolute hardest. So...
the beginner experience is going to depend on how many beginners are trying this. So, yeah. I guess on the bright side, yeah, maybe this is morbid, I don't know. But given that some nations as an after-school activity involve this crossword game, it's possible there might be a lot of kids doing puzzles just for fun. But then, again, probably only the ones who stick with it are the ones who are having the best experience. So it'd be nice if there were a way to tell which puzzles were easiest without having to throw lots of human effort at it. Or if you had just a ton of expendable human effort that would never result in people dropping off and never coming back. Um, yeah, if you had like inelastic amount of human effort that's always there, no, no matter how good or bad this is, and you could use that to train and rate the puzzles, then that'd be fine. But I just don't think we have enough human effort to rate the bottom most puzzles accurately. Um, Fend's or Fend looks decent. B Benders sounds fun. I mean, well, there's nothing here. Um, I don't see anything there either. Feed. Feed is a legal word. Doesn't score jack. Fend scores more than feed, but I don't like it. Fleece almost fits. Well, fleece does fit like here. Problem is you could stick it both here as well as up some. It's not clear that there's a superior way to place it. Um... So, yeah, I'm not seeing a clear standout best play here. It'd be nice to build something across here, but I just don't see anything there either. Building down from the B on the right, I wouldn't expect there to be much because we have an F. Oh, beef. Beef is a word. Uh, scores 18 points and leaves us without a vowel. I don't like that. Um, clef. Clef could be a word. Uh, it scores 19 points and has a decent leave, but is this where you would stick it? I mean, you can't really fit it anywhere else, can you? But also, there's got to be something better. Because this is not a great play. I like this play because it leaves the D, the E, and the S. Like, I have a hard time arguing that anything was better than this. This looks very good. It also closes off the triple or triple letter score right below the C. It also makes it difficult for the opponent to bingo unless they're going through the B on the right. But this can't possibly be it, because this doesn't score much. But, like, how can you do any better than this? Again, fleece comes to mind, but there's two ways to place fleece. 
um, these puzzles assure us that there's only one best solution. And they assure us that if you miss that best solution, you're not getting any credit buster. But that just seems, like, so dispiriting. But, eh, it is what it is. Hmm. I just give up. I don't care. Let's give up. Oh, with the D on the end. All right. Yeah, we came up with fleece. We missed the D. Fleeces is also decent. Again, that's a beginner puzzle, but something's got to be a beginner puzzle. There should be at least some keeping track of server side how often somebody gives up on a puzzle. And don't penalize the player for giving up. Just award the puzzle extra points for convincing the player to give up. Okay, duckiest probably does not take anything after it. Um, so, it's just smart. Leaving us with a Q. Smart looks good. Here. Oops. Trying to do this with my chat window in the way is not helping. All right. Preschoolers. No. It's going to be something here, isn't it? Uh, maybe not. <sighs> ER is a suffix. Chore looks good. No idea. Six tiles. Okay. Um, hmm. J does not seem to fit here. X does not seem to fit there either. Um, where could I use some of these tiles? Also, we have no vowels.
Is this one of the ways we spell gin? It is, but that's not the solution. Okay, here. Why here? Three tiles. Three tiles in this column. Oh. Is this a word? Is this how you spell it? That is how you spell it. Alright. Um... Yeah, I guess below 1,200, it's impossible for me to predict whether or not I will succeed or fail a puzzle based on just the ratings alone. Um, I need much more information than just the ratings to predict if I'm going to succeed or fail. I was trying to type flake here with an A. I don't have an A. There's the A, but... <sighs> Raffle with one F. Farkle. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be an obvious answer. We have one vowel, but... Hmm. K-I is not terrible. It's sad. Um... Hmm, oh. Jeez. For such a low-rated puzzle, a six-letter word is... It's something. Either you see it or you don't. I would gladly take puzzles where the solution is a five-letter or shorter word. But that's not how this works. There is no casual mode. So... I can't find a six-letter word that hits this. I see swig and wig and other things there, but that looks so bad. Swung? Okay. Still below 1200 rating wise. In ter Not in terms of my rating, I care more about puzzle rating, honestly. I just accept that my rating is going to be forever low. Um, but some of the puzzles might be solvable anyway. Uh, is J-E-E -E a word? I don't think so. J-A-Y seems to fit here. Uh, wait. Yeah, we don't have a seven letter word with the J and the Y. Probably. So that's fine. Q U E. Uh, we got lots of Q U words. Uh, where might it fit if there is a Q U word? I don't know. 
I'm trying to put the Q on a high scoring square. Doesn't seem to fit on any of them. Hmm. There's got to be a high scoring place for the Q, right? Query. Query would fit here. That's good enough. Alright, waved ending in D. It's got to be something ending in D here. Um, no, there's nothing, nothing great ending in D. So, where else could it fit? Whatever it is. I'm moving my chat window around. That doesn't help. M in column one doesn't help. <laughs> QI somewhere, like here it fits QI, but that doesn't score a million. <laughs> um. It does not seem to be a lot of places to stick Q. Mm. <laughs> I mean, this would be a great place to put something high scoring, but we just don't have anything of that sort. Um. QI fits in the center of the board for 11 points. Puzzle's gonna tell me, no, you have a better place somewhere. I mean, maybe I guess bid. It scores 54 points. I don't know how it scores 54. I guess the W and the V add up to a lot. No, it's it's gotta be bid. Oh, crap. Okay, we're done. We are done. Yeah, we missed out on a few points by playing bid instead of bind. Puzzle gives us no credit for it. The puzzle's rating improves. Our rating declines. And that's the way the rating system should work. But also... I don't know. Like... I found a 54 point word and we get zero credit because we missed a 66 point word. Like, yeah, that's a 10 point difference. But in terms of game outcomes, 10 points might sometimes matter a lot. Sometimes it might not matter at all. So just factor that in. Um. I guess I made the same criticism of Lee chess puzzles at one point, and then they fixed it. Which was that, or I guess I made this criticism of mistakes and blunders and such, and eventually I think it carried into Lee chess puzzles, which is, you know, if you're up by a thousand points, if you're like two queens and five rooks ahead, then nobody cares if you lost a queen. And, you know, Lee Chess came up with this concept. Um, actually, found a research paper where somebody had taken this concept and said, here's how much losing a pawn is worth in terms of game outcomes. Um, and that was years before Stockfish had caught up and changed its scaling function to be based upon wins and draws and losses. Uh, I don't think that other game engines have caught up with Stockfish's concept yet, with exception of two, 
one being alpha zero and th I guess two being engines based on alpha zero, which includes stockfish these days. But yeah, anything ever since alpha zero acknowledges this concept that um, the severity of a mistake, the de extent to which uh, an evaluation change to feedback and back propagate into the eval function. Um, I'm sorry, the extent to which feedback in terms of game outcomes should change the way evaluation works um, is actually proportional to the game outcomes. So, like, yeah, if it matters here that 54 versus 66, if that's a huge difference in terms of game outcomes, then it's important that you pick the right word. If, on the other hand, you're up by a lot of points or you're down by a lot of points and you play a second best play, which is still a very high scoring play, you know, then maybe this 10 point miss is not such a big deal. Maybe partial credit would help puzzles as well as players be rated more accurately. Anyway, that's my little rant. Um, at least DeepMind understands it. And the Stockfish team, by extension, everyone who copies or plagiarizes their work gets it. it just yeah we just don't have enough plagiarism yet i guess i don't know i mean yeah it's a really dumb miss on my part i should spot bind instead of bid all the time i would even argue that bid might be better than bind um hasty bots evaluation be damned but that point aside Assuming that HastyBot's even accurate about this at all, usually it is, I don't think it's a big miss. I think the rating swing should be a bit less in case a swear player comes up with a really good move, even if it's not the best move. This notion of we're just going to filter out all the puzzles where there is a second best play and we're never going to filter inaccurately and like it's ridiculous you could it, such filtering just is not really feasible um unless you cut out lots and lots of interesting puzzles um yeah leecha still cuts out a lot of puzzles that or they filter out puzzles that have a second best move because they don't know how to handle second best moves i've made some suggestions but they don't know um so, consequently, for a long time, many puzzles, it was either find the capture or check. They've since improved the puzzle generator a lot. It's gone through many, many iterations. And it's now at a point where puzzles aren't just captures and checks, even though that is a pretty big element to it. But yeah, there are still, there are now other sorts of puzzles too. So through tremendous effort, they found a way to provide an experience that works okay, um, but could be even better. But um, considering the state of the ecosystem as a whole, it's hard to pick, pick fault with Lee Chess's methods because they work quite well. But it could be better, but it's hard to do better too. Anyway. That's my rant. Am I going to be doing these puzzles again? I don't know. Maybe sometime. Maybe I just need to make my own better thing and stop complaining. And if I'm going to make my own better thing, that's going to take a lot of effort. But maybe it's worth it in the end. I've made other word game stuff, and it's never been of enough interest. Um... But, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we do puzzles after I'm generating my own puzzles. And maybe we'll generate our own puzzles after there's enough interest. I don't know. 
I see there are projects on GitHub and elsewhere where they involve a funding model, and maybe I should start doing that too. Let's say, you know what? Yeah, maybe that's an option. It's not going to lead anywhere. So, uh, um, maybe not. But there are other things I could do first. Um, but anyway, yeah, it might be a while before I attempt these again. Maybe we just need to wait for um, a lot of people to make sure puzzles have super accurate ratings before I start to do these again, because, yeah, my ratings fluctuating all over the place here, as are the puzzles. Yeah, I could have spotted this, but now it's rated 1209, but, like, it feels like the sort of thing I could have spotted. I was one tile away. So there have been some puzzles that are under 1100 that I found impossible. There's some puzzles around 1200 that I find doable. So that just gives me one more reason to just say it might be a while before we get back to this. We'll get back to it someday. But it's just, it's rough. It's hard to do well. But we appreciate this. It's miles ahead of anything else you find out there. And probably it works well for the majority of competitive players. But it'd be nice to have something that works well for everyone, too. But it's... what can you do? You do your best, and, um, yeah. Those players who want to improve will use this tool, and they'll improve with it. Uh, players who are more casual will just use other stuff. And that's how it's going to be. And that's fine. Um, so, anyway, sorry to have ranted, sorry to have tilted, but that's just my frank feedback. Hopefully we enjoyed this anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.